divine presence. First of all, there is the presence concealed and then the presence manifested. We'll talk about divine presence. If you enter a pact with a spirit, the way we have a pact with God in Christ, meanwhile, remember God is spirit. The way we have a pact with God in Christ, there's no pact without covenant. Even the village chief, before the spirit walks with him, he has a covenant with that spirit. He or his family has a covenant. There's no pact with any spirit without a covenant. And that is why what we read in the Bible about Christ is not some Western story. You can actually meet the spirit Christ has covenanted you to. The spirit Christ called Father. You can meet that spirit through Christ. He said, no man coming to the Father except by me. Meanwhile, the mystery by which we come to the Father is that we're in Christ. And since Christ is the one who comes to the Father, we come to the Father inside Christ. So all that is gathered into Christ comes to the Father just as he comes to the Father. And that's why we are also seated with him. Where he's seated, why? Because we are all gathered into him. But that's a discussion for another day. Now, so there's a presence concealed and a presence manifested. The presence of God has nothing to do with emotions or goosebumps or, you know, I feel something. It has nothing to do with that. It is a commitment to a man through covenant. Now, when a man is committed through covenant, he must come to a place to know that God is with him. Whether the presence is concealed or manifested. Now, if you do not understand this, you will think God is not with you because you are feeling dry. Or because you made a mistake. Or because you fell into hard times. You, you feel God is not with you. That kind of understanding can come from a man who does not yet know the God he worships. The first oracles you are taught in the room of light is that God is spirit. Now, the things that are spiritual are not seen. They are designed. So, when we want to interact with the presence of God concealed, we don't try to interact with it from the physical perspective. We design it by faith. What does it mean to design by faith? You understand by faith that even though I'm not feeling anything now, God is with me. Why? He is committed to honoring his word. And if he has promised to be with me, even though I don't feel him now, God is with me. Shedra Mishak, now this is very important. An important foundation for this fellowship. Do you know what it means to believe a God who could not stop your land from being evaded? Shedra Mishak and Abednego and Daniel. Your God is so powerful, yet he didn't stop Nebuchadnezzar from coming to plunder the city. Plunder the land and even enter the temple and take the treasures of the temple to his, to his country. Yet, by faith, those men, even in a foreign land, still believed their God was with them. Some fair weather Christians immediately would have disconnected from worshipping God. If that God was powerful, why didn't, did he not defend his country? What kind of God is that one? They were still willing to exalt their God even before a very dreaded king like Nebuchadnezzar. That's faith. Even though God is concealed by faith, we design his presence. So whenever you want to pray and you feel dry, don't think God is, God's presence may be heavy there but concealed. So if a man only walks with God by feeling, I've gone to meetings where I didn't feel anything in my flesh. It's as though those meetings were my most driest meeting ever. But by faith, I knew God is with me. The fact that I cannot sense him does not mean he will break his word. And in those meetings, as I moved in the discernment of faith, faith is a knowing. I do because I know. Not because I feel anything. Faith is not I believe. Faith is not I receive. Faith is I act because I know. That's what faith is. Remember, he said, draw unto me. This I will draw unto you for you to draw. No, no, that's not the equation. For some who are waiting for you, okay, let God do this, then I will know. You will wait there for 10 years. Because he doesn't owe you anything. If all of us turn away from God now, guess what? He doesn't share God. This whole world can actually burn in hell and God. Do you know who God is? It's actually the highest privilege for him to put his name upon a man. 
When I discovered this, I discovered that if a man will be saved, it's because God ordained it. So I cannot force any man to believe in God. You cannot be forced. Yeshua himself said, no man cometh unto me except the Father what draws him. Say, draw him. So when we speak of divine presence, we are talking about the commitment of God to a man. The first knowledge you must have is that God can be with you and yet his presence is concealed. And when you know that God is committed with you, the first way to walk with him is by faith. Knowing that even though I'm not feeling like God is here, God is with me. It's a knowing, sir. That presence may not be manifest, but it's designed. You cannot know the presence of God perpetually in the physical. But guess what? That spiritual presence is present even whether you know or not. The Bible says a carnal man cannot receive the things of the spirit because what? Spiritually designed. When you come into the spirit, you will now discover that wait, God has been in this place and I didn't know. It has no feeling. There's no goosebump. There are a lot of times I see people crying, oh, the presence of God here. The Lord will say that line. It's emotions. They're not feeling anything. Off the keyboard now, they'll go out of the spirit. So presence designed because it is concealed. Now there's presence manifested. Now when the presence of God manifests, can I tell you this, brethren? When the presence of God manifests, even if you are a Muslim, you will, you will know. Even if you are a sinner, you will know. When the presence of God manifests, God has taken a tangible form with which to display himself. So what we call the manifest presence of God is called Shekinah, the glory. If a man, a blind man is healed here, you've just seen the Shekinah. That which is in the divine has now come into the physical world to act. So every time the presence of God is manifest in your life, in your business, what you've seen is the glory of God. Meanwhile, there's a reason for the glory of God. That glory is an investment of it. So it is actually an error for you to always see the Shekinah and still live in doubt. That was the sin of the Israelite. They were accustomed to Shekinah manifestations. So whenever they didn't see the Shekinah manifestation, they believed God was not there anymore. So they began to murmur. And in places... All situations where they should have walked in faith, understanding. Say, by faith we understand that the world was framed by the words of God. By faith. Die. By faith I understand that even though this business is not moving, I know God sent me here. I'm not backing down. It's an understanding that has nothing to do with whatever you are feeling. If you are a feeling-based Christian, you cannot go far with your spirit. A man that they gave charm for bullet, the spirit doesn't work with him and say, okay, no. He knows by that small talisman. The, the faith is high. After seeing one Shekinah of that demon, how to use the word Shekinah? So, you know, they will test it normally. They will test. After that manifestation, he goes on in faith. He knows that. So, because of what he knows, you are afraid to walk in the night. He's strolling in the night. That's faith. Faith is I act because I know. There's no safe faith. There's no comfort in comfort. That thing you are deceiving yourself. Faith is the steps taken because a man has designed something in the spirit. So I don't give to church because I'm rich. I give because I know. As as simple as that. Our actions. I pray for the sick not because I see Angel Michael standing with medicine. I pray because I know his name. And guess what? Like I said last Sunday, God is the one that marks faith. Faith is not boldness, but there is boldness in faith. So now there's a presence manifested. When the presence of God manifests, it takes on a natural form of the elements. Yes. There's a mystery I will share this Sunday about the divine God. You go back to work and you now know how to you command. 
You can command the wind by the name of God who is upon your temple. And there we serve. This is I'm saying is not outside scripture. Didn't Jesus command the, the storm? He spoke to it. Have you heard of the angels or the four winds before in scriptures? You've heard of them. What do you think their form is? Those are the elemental spirits. The angel of the four winds, when I saw them in the spirit, they don't have a bodily form. They are like tornado. They are spinning like this. That's what they are. Wind, literal wind. That's what they are. But they are spinning winds. Positioned in the four corners of the earth. Spinning winds. That's what their form is. So when God manifests in the Shekinah, if you read scriptures, you discover that he takes the form of tangible elements because that's the, that's the lowest way he can bring himself to your consciousness. So you see cloud, wind. They all say they had a sound as of a rushing mighty wind. You see fire. He takes the form of the things that are created, not made. Because the things that are made are actually lesser. He, cannot, he can use the made things, but he cannot take their form. That's why man is special. Man was both created and made. We'll discuss about this if we have time on Sunday. Do you understand what I'm saying? Ah, you don't understand what I'm saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, you can actually come to your shop and speak your, your word there by faith in the Lord. And your breath will become Shekinah there. Hi, I wish I wanted to understand what I'm saying. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? You see, how we translate in the spirit is by knowledge. You can pray and not know and nothing will change in your life. That's why I said one of the best times to hear God is in, in the place of prayer. Go there with your note. Go there with your note. I'm saying you can walk into your office. Phew, my God, I feel something here. And by illumination, this thing I'm telling you now is not Google. I found it. It's the Holy Ghost that taught me. It has become an illumination by which I walk in faith. And you can just come and say a simple prayer, understanding that the Shekinah can become bread. And because that is altered from your mouth, that simple breeze that leaves your mouth becomes an atmosphere there. Hey! Oh my God. A man can bump into that atmosphere and say there's something about this place. There's a house we're living in that time in Abuja. We prayed so much in an upstairs parlor that the presence of God was not felt anywhere but in that parlor. Yes, sir. One upstairs parlor. Don't tell. One blue parlor we used to go live. We prayed... You walk in there, you will know there's something strange about this place. A man knowing how the manifest presence of God can take nature. Do you know how to do priesthood? You, are, you have a shop and you've not walked around barefooted. This thing, they don't, it's not theology, it's a walk with God. God will tell you, pull your shoe now and walk around. The sole of your feet touch that place. You've marked your territory like a lion already. We know kingship in Christianity. We don't yet know priesthood. Priesthood is not a name. We are kings and priests. Priests or what? What do you know in priesthood? Yeshua, our master. You see him walking in prayer. I'm not talking about this thing that come and put ten envelope in ten. That nonsense they do. I'm talking about spirit-led movements. Agabus, by the leading of the Holy Ghost, bound himself. And then he began to speak the word of God. Your emancipation is a simple secret way. Lord tell you that every Monday take food and go and be given to these people. Hi. I will sing. Of your goodness and your love, Tama, I will tell of the wonders that you show. It's a spirit walk. Kailema Sata Kabara. So a lot of time when you begin your walk with God, you have to walk with the concealed presence of God by faith. Whether you feel anointed or not, you know by faith that God.
God has committed himself to me. And you know that by the covenant of Christ. So is a Christian. The one that has received the revelation of Christ by the Father. Guess what? This revelation I'm talking about is not that Christ is the Son of God. No. It's that Christ is the glorified Son of God. And trust me, they don't teach people that one. It's something imparted by God. And it is those people Jesus called the church. It's not the one that comes to church on Sunday morning. The ones that come is them that are to be saved. <laughs> and when you walk in the concealed, your, your faith is strong even though the presence of God seems to be concealed. However, you can interact with that concealed presence by what? Discernment. God may not be tangibly manifested before me, but I can discern that he's with me. I can discern. The woman looked at Jesus said, I discern that you are a prophet. He said, knowing. Do you know you can discern that you cannot fail? I don't know how to describe, but it's just a knowing inside a man. A knowing that you become conscious of other over time. Then you get to a point where even if they throw you out of the house, you, laugh, you just know. The day all things work together for my good, the day it hit me, you see, there's something I taught them, I think in the Abuja church or in Lagos church. I said, why you must add thanksgiving in all your prayer? It's because you don't know whether that thing that you are praying to God to deliver you from is actually what God has used to promote you. See, do you know how promotion comes? Let me say this parable for close. Which king ever won a land without fighting? Every land expansion in every country came by warfare. Is Israel and Gaza not fighting till today? What are they fighting for? Land. What does that tell you? Your expansion is in the days of your pressure. When you feel pressure, begin to open. That time that you are owing, begin to start more business idea because your expansion is in the days of your pressure. I learned it. I will see that and say, Lord, look out. I'm going to say, Come on, begin to run. When the church was persecuted and they scattered, then the church grew. All things will join their hands. Even that pampe you are owing, they will join their hands to work together for your good. There's no disadvantage whatsoever. They're attacking your social media. That's your promotion. Thank God for it. And this is why we put thanksgiving in all our, all our prayer. Because just in case I don't know whether this thing you are doing is there to help me. So I still thank you. So guess what? I thank him. I make a request. Deliver me. And I'll tell him that well, not steal my will, but your will be done. So that you will not deliver me from what is meant to promote me. I will sing of your goodness and your love. I will tell of the wonders that you show. Dama. I will sing goodness and your love. Dama. I will tell of the wonders that you show. Kinda watching the cake, kinda watching the cake now. Kinda watching the cake now. Kainja wachi neke na ayo ayo itama Kainja wa o Kainja wachi neke na Kainja wachi neke na Kainja wachi neke na ayo ayo itama I say Kainja wa o Kainja wachi neke na Kainja wachi neke na Kainja wachi neke na Ayo Ayo Itama One more time Kainja wao Kainja wachi neke na Kainja wachi neke na Kainja wao Ayo
todo eso no lo disfruten. Y veamos como el chat y veamos la energía. Como videos, hay esos sueños, hay muchos chanos, y el móvil.